Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. Guys, we're pushing to 3,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you do. Also, too, let me know what you guys think about my channel in the comments. I appreciate all the feedback and all the support. So James Harden, he was giving his opinion on the Damian Lillard trade to the Miami Heat. James Harden, he is in a similar situation. He wants to leave Philly and he wants to go to the Clippers. So James Harden said, now, I wouldn't want the organization to send me somewhere where they wouldn't want to be because you've built a real relationship with that person. That person has done so many great things for your organization, your franchise, but then you don't want to give that player away for nothing. So I get both sides. Now with James Harden, it's a little bit different. He's been jumping team to team, you know, gaining weight just to be traded, doing all these type of ridiculous things. Now with Damian Lillard, he's been faithful. He's been there for 11 years. He told Portland just before the draft, just when the season ended, listen, trade the third pick, use that third pick to get me a star like Paul George, Pascal Siakam, Kevin Durant, something. Get a guy next to me, Jeremy Grant, and the rest of this team so that we can contend for a championship. They didn't do that, okay? And if they really value Damian Lillard as their franchise player, especially within these past few years, they would have done that. They did the absolute opposite. They traded all their veterans, CJ McCollum, Norman Powell, Josh Hart, they did not build the proper team around Damian Lillard. Now, could you say that Damian Lillard did get hurt? Yes, he did. But at the same time, who was who was really good? Besides CJ McCollum, who was next to both of them that can really uplift the Blazers? Nobody. The Blazers have been in limbo for the past few years. It's great, and I'm glad that they kept the third pick and they drafted Scoop because they need that for their organization. They need that to sell tickets. You know, no one is running to Portland. Nobody ever came and ran to Portland to help Damian Lillard. That says a lot about Portland. And in terms of their whole youth movement, I'm glad they're doing that with Scoot, Simons, and with Sharp. I think they have a great, solid young core for the future. I think it's time to move off Damian Lillard. James Harden is right. I don't blame the Portland Trailblazers necessarily because they want to get the proper return from Damian Lillard. However, they did wait a little bit too long. I understand people are saying, yeah, but Damian Lillard, he signed that big contract. He should have known. I think that Damian Lillard, he's wanted to leave the Portland Trailblazers for a long time. However, the Portland Trailblazers lied to him. Like I said earlier, he thought that at least they were going to build a team around him properly. They clearly haven't. They've done the opposite. They're going young. So now it's time to move off Dan Miller. He's 32 years old. He's coming off arguably his best season, averaging 30 points a game. Him coming to Miami will change everything for him. His great relationship with Bam. We all know that he wants to play for Pat and Spo. And of course, with Jimmy Butler, the Miami Heat superstar. I just think that, I think that the only reason why this is holding up is because one, they don't really want to trade Dame to the Miami Heat, obviously. They are trying to get a haul, and I get it. That's their job. That's Joe Cronin's job, to get a proper package for a guy like Dame Miller. But his hands are kind of tied because now he's facing media pressure, fan pressure. You know, he really doesn't want to ruin the relationship with the Blazers and Dame Lillard that they've had for so long. So there's a lot of things going on right now, and there's also been reports that they don't want to trade him. They want to trade Dame, you know, they want to change uh, Dame's mind. They want him to stay. But once again, he's made it clear he does not want to play with 19 and 20 year old guys anymore. So it's going to be really interesting to see both trades, the James Harden trade and the Damian Lillard trade, how they will both pan out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3000 subscribers.